So you want to know what it's like to be a cadet in soccer season? Follow me. Hey, I'm Jordy, and personally, I like to wake up early, get a good start to my day. After I get ready for school, I sit down at my desk, and if I have a test that morning, I'll do some last minute studying, look through my book, and just prepare for my day. I have three classes today, and the one that you guys will be sitting in on is MSS, which is Military Strategic Studies. My teacher is super awesome. He's a colonel in 06, so he has got a lot of super cool stories that he likes to tell us. So today we had a pop quiz at the beginning of a class, and I only missed one, so that was really good after that class. Sometimes I'll go to the library if it ends early, and I'll just do some homework, or sometimes I'll catch up with some of my friends if I see them in there. And then it's time for noon meal. Here at the academy, it's super unique. We all eat under one roof, all at the same time. So all 4,000 cadets of us are eating all together, family style. So you get to talk to your classmates and like the people in your squadron and just really have fun. And it's a time to get to know everybody, especially on Fridays, it gets really rowdy noon meal which is the marching part of it we only do monday wednesday and friday so tuesdays and thursdays we just go into lunch and we all eat at the same time but we don't have to march there okay so our terrazzo which we call the tizo that's the big space that you're seeing right now our chapel is under construction right now but it's usually beautiful and it's definitely a sight to see there are two dorm areas, one's on the north side of the Toronto and one's on the south side. After the first part of my day with academics and all that, I head down to soccer and today it was raining. So we got to head over to the Hack, which is the Holiday Athletic Center. And that's our indoor facility. It's turf, but it's really nice. And that's just the best part of my day. It's super fun. I get to be with basically my best friends. So after practice today, we get to head over to weights and it's the second biggest weight room in the country. So it is ginormous and our facility is super nice. We have everything that you could possibly imagine. Oh, hey, is this thing on? Hi, I'm Kayla and I'm gonna show you around the facilities. So our locker room, we each have our individual lockers where we keep our gear and cleats. And then we have our common area where we have our kitchen and couches to hang out on. So after training, I'll go to the human performance lab and do vision training and or run in the tent. Vision training, we work on eye-hand coordination and reaction time to help with heading the ball and coordination with our feet as well. Today I'm dealing with an injury, so I have Jen here as my stunt double. So the tent brings us down to sea level. It helps us build our muscles quicker, and we run in the tent to optimize our training. On the weekends, I usually go off base to explore everything Colorado has to offer, and if I'm staying on base, there's a popular hike called Eagle's Peak, which a lot of people like to do. It's a bucket list item here. In our summer block, I got to go to Guatemala for a week, and then after that, I did a six-week program where I got to solo the T-53. Thanks for joining us in a day in the life of a women's soccer player. Hey, cut! 